What's up guys, this is Zach from Zach's Hobby Nook, and today we're going to be opening up some more Pokemon cards. And uh, yeah, got a nice little batch of cards here that I wanted to show you that we've been pulling lately. We haven't opened up every single thing on camera. Some of them we've just been pulling on our own, me and Kitty Commentary. So the first one is we got a Green Exploration from Unbroken Bonds Full Art, which I was super excited to pull. Again, Unbroken Bonds has some hard pull rates. We got Sonya which I was super excited about getting as well, from uh, Rubble Clash. This one's fun, because I definitely bought one on eBay, and then the next day bought a pack and got it. We got a Misty's Full Art Determination supporter card from Evolutions. So I have a second one of these now coming, uh, along with that one I pulled. And then Shiny Legends. We've bought, you have opened three Raichu boxes, and two of the Dark Ride so far. For Shining Legends, sorry, I had to just do some quick thinking there. And we pulled some really good, uh, some really good stuff. So we got the Shining Jirachi. So I was super excited to get these uh, these cards. So we got Shining Jirachi, a Shining Rayquaza, which is nice. And uh, the Jirachi is like a ten dollar card. Rayquaza, I believe, it's about a twenty twenty five dollar card. And then we got not one but two of the Shining Mews, which are about thirty dollar cards each. Um, thinking about getting these graded, they're pretty good looking condition cards. Just minor little, like, sparkle here or sparkle there. Like, almost perfect centering, I think, on mo uh, front and back, almost. But yeah, super excited to pull both of those as well. Which also leads us to something else we got for Kitty Commentary, which we were super excited about coming out, is the Eevee and Friends, or an afternoon with Eevee and Friends, sorry figures we just got the espion in today with our order of cards we're gonna be opening but yeah so we now have every single one of these except for the three that are not out so super excited about getting that for kitty commentary she loves the evolutions and eevee those are her favorites so we were super excited to get that but our opening for the day will be us opening not one but two of these shining dark rise shining legends boxes so we're going to be opening up two of these. We got several from uh, the local Walmart, actually. Had um, a whole bunch of them, so we bought up a bunch. And I've been opening a couple off screen. Today I decided, let's just do a few on camera and post it. Why not? Uh, because that's what this channel is about. Just posting where, when we want, however we want, about what we want as we collect it. Uh, that is pretty much the channel. If you guys like that, sweet. If you don't, then I guess... You don't have to subscribe or follow us. But that is what the channel is about. Just posting a whole bunch of different hobbies and stuff that we collect. And all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this first Dark Rye box. I do have two other ones. One I'm keeping sealed because I do um, try to get some sealed product I like to keep and collect. Um, just because yeah, sealed product can go up in value and it's nice to have. It's kind of cool to be able to say I have it and all that fun stuff. So there's our... Full art, dark, shining dark rye. Our four packs. Here's the code. If anybody wants that, go for it. And obviously, the jumbo dark rye. If anybody needs these jumbo dark ryes, feel free to comment. Uh, we have quite a few of these now. I think this is our third one we have now, plus the one, another one we're going to be opening today. So have quite a few if you guys collect the jumbo cards same with the raichu we also have several of those if anybody wants those as well so here's our four packs we've got three mews and a mewtwo so hopefully we can pull the mewtwo gx shining secret i think is what it's called secret shining sorry mixed up the words that's the big card you want to pull it's going for about fifty dollars forty to fifty dollars depending on that and getting graded it goes for a lot more so that is what we're hoping to pull today's video. Hopefully we get it. And uh, yeah, we can show it off to this awesome little community. We don't have a ton of people following us yet, but still a nice little community we got going here. And honestly, we just enjoy opening Pokemon cards here. So there's the code. Set that there. All right, let's do this. Ultra Ball. I need a shiny, uh, a reverse holographic of Venusaur. So I have one of Bulbasaur. Ivysaur, I need the Venusaur. Hopefully we can pull that as well. That's kind of a easier pull we're trying to get right now. Croconaw, Spirit Tomb, and a Raichu GX. Alright, so uh, Kitty Commentary did pull this in one of the other packs yesterday, I believe it was. She pulled that, but yeah, now we have a second Raichu. 
it does seem, um, at least in my opinion, again, you can feel free to let me know, but in my opinion, from my experiences, it seems like a lot of these boxes are either hit and miss. Like, you'll either get really, really good stuff, or you just won't get anything. There's the code card, and that has been my experience so far. So, out of the five boxes we opened, I've pulled... A Mew and the Jirachi in one box, and then the Rayquaza, another Mew, in another box. So, the, and then the other ones just had nothing in them. So, it definitely seems like it's a hit and miss. Like, if you got something, you got something really good, or you got nothing. That's at least been my experience with this so far. So, our Tora Cat, plus a Reverse Zora, and uh, Yvetel. Again, he's one of the ones I don't know how to pronounce the name for, legendary-wise. One, one of the gens I don't really know very well. X and Y. I did play it finally. Kitty Commentary let me use her DS and I did play X, I think, no, Y. I played Y uh, version, but yeah, I, I didn't really get into it that much. Sorry, code card. Didn't get into it that much. It, it was okay. It, it, it wasn't the same. You know, I did come across my first shiny in that game. First one ever. And uh, it ran away on me. Unfortunately, I didn't know it at the time, so I ran into it. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And yeah, it hit, then it fled on me. Oh, it looks like we got something. No, we do not. I was, it's a Palkia. Holographic Palkia. Sorry, it looked like it might have been like a reverse or something there. Or not reverse, a, a GX or something. All right, so last pack for this box, and then we will open up the other one. We also have some Hidden Fates tins coming in. Found a couple. I'm super excited to open up some of those as well for you guys so again stick around if you guys want to see us open up some hidden fates tins hopefully in the next couple days we'll be able to get those in and craft those open for you guys searching for that that shining charizard that's going for seven or eight hundred dollars whatever it's going for right now it's going up for quite a bit of money croconaw pokemon breeder and a mana fee so nothing really exciting out of that box let's so far it's just just the raichu gx but let's get into the second one, guys. Let's get into the second one. So, yeah. Got another one right here. Cut her open and see what is inside. Again, I can't complain. We've had some really good, nice pulls out of the uh, Shining Legends set. So, I'm not complaining too much if we don't get much out of this video. So I'd like to pull something nice for you guys and for the channel. It'd be kind of nice to have something to show off on the channel since the last pokemon opening we did was not super amazing <laughs> we also have a whole bunch of dollar packs of unbroken bonds and again didn't get uh really anything i don't think we pulled a single real holographic or anything out of that whole entire i want to say it was like 50 packs almost we didn't get anything so we'd like to pull something big out of this one on screen on camera for y'all right here Again, big old shiny dark ride there. All right, so let's see, we got two Genesect, Mew, and a Rayquaza. Let's go with Genesect. We're going to go with the Genesect packs. Let's see, code. We got a Energy Life Heart for Alligator. Warp Energy, Minin, Shroomish, Jinx, Pikachu, Torkoal, Shiny Ekans, and a uh, Zoroark GX, which we already had as well. Hopefully we can get something really good out of this, guys. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Oops. Code card. Cody Code, Fire Energy, For Alligator, Vol Corona, Damage Mover, Minin, Torkoal, Ivysaur, Toracat, Plusle, Incineroar, and a Shining Genesect. All right. There we go. That's one we do not have yet. I am super excited about that. Awesome. Super excited about that. Not the big one, not the Mewtwo, but it's still a shining Genesect. So we will take that any day of the week. I forget how many Shining Legends are in this one. I want to say there's five or six, something along those lines. 
Corona, Spirit Tomb, Pokemon Breeder, Torkoal, Bulbasaur, my favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, Brazil, Totodile, Scraggy, and a Zekrom. Shiny Zekrom. All right, guys. Last pack for the opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, it's just a quick little opening to show some of the cards from Shining Legends. I know this stuff's getting harder and harder to find lately, so I'm super excited to find them at the Walmart that we went to. And we picked up uh, a few so we can do them for you guys here. I think that's the third, is that the third fire energy? I think that's the third fire energy we had. No, we had leaf. And I think we had a fire energy. Yeah, wow, that's still out of this box. Okay. Cinderor Pokemon Catcher, Stunfisk, Plusle, Purloin, Colette, Shroomish, Shiny Bulbasaur, and a Palkia. So not a ton out of that one either, guys. But we did get a Shining Genesect. So that's pretty nice. Super excited about that to add that to our other Shiny collection here. Hopefully when we get those... Uh, Hidden Fates ones, people will be able to pull some of those Shining cards, especially the Evolutions are going for a lot of money, and the Charizard are obviously the big ones. Mewtwo would be another really nice one out there. But yeah, anyways, you got that. We got our Zoroark GX, our two Dark Rise GX, and our Raichu GX. But yeah, all in all, that is our opening here today, guys. Hope you, hope, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again feel free to subscribe thumbs up comment what you guys have liked if you guys like this product if you're able to find it too because i've been hearing and watching a lot of people say it's hard to find it uh at the local stores so yeah let us know in the comments below this has been zach from zach's hobby nook and we will talk to you guys again very soon